Okay, now this is where we're going to assemble the altimeter onto the sled. Now the Easy Mini, if you're doing that one, um, I told you before that it's going to go near that little notch right there. For the perfect flight strata logger, it doesn't really matter which way it goes. It could go this way or that way. Um, I prefer to have the terminal blocks as close to the switch as possible, but it could go the other way too. It just means your wires are going to be a little longer. Okay, so now there's little holes here. We need to knock out the holes that correspond to our altimeter. And for the Easy Mini, it's the, the inner ones. And you'll take a little screwdriver and just punch them out, just like we did before. Now, these other little holes, you can punch them in, punch them out, or leave them in. Um, if you leave them in, what I like to do is just put a little glue onto them, um, and that will put them, keep them in there permanently. Um, you don't have to do that, but I kind of do just to keep them in there, add a little extra strength. It doesn't really matter that much. Um, now we're going to need a, a tap, and this is a number 432 tap. I think it's 32. 4, 432? Or 440? 440. 440. <laughs> Um, the 4 means it's, uh, it's number 4 in diameter, and the 40 means there's 40 threads per inch. Um, and I want to run this through the holes, and you can do this by hand, because you're not going very deep. Um, but you want to screw it in, just like I'm doing here, and then back it out, screw it in, back it out, screw it in, back it out. See, so by backing it out, you're getting out all the little sawdust. Just go all the way down till it bottoms out, just like that. And there's four holes to do. Okay, that is the last hole. All right. And you can test your holes by taking the little nylon screws and just kind of testing it, making sure that it can screw into there. Just like that. Of course it's going to work, right? Right. <laughs> okay. I got a little out of sequence here according to the instructions. Our instructions say the next thing you should do is to glue the switch to the altimeter uh, board like that. Now the position that switch has to match up this hole. This is the vent hole that is used. So go ahead and put that on and it goes towards the, um, I think it's the E2 side of the board, the opposite of the side you're sliding it on. It's not going to go on this way. So it's going to go on like that. And then you can slide this end on. And you'll this way you'll know pretty quick if you got it on wrong. Go on nice and tight like that, and then rotate it so you can see the uh, sled board on the inside. And then just kind of move it down just a little bit, and then take a marker or a pencil. I don't know if I can see this yet. Okay, so I did, I marked the top of the board. Pull this off so you can see my mark. All right, so there's the mark right there. I'll make it a little darker. Okay, now that is where the middle of the push switch has to go. So the push switch has to go right on the middle. So on mine, it's not all the way up to the wood, but just ever so slightly, almost like a 32nd of an inch. And I'm going to glue it in place. I don't want to glue it way out here or the, or the uh, coupler won't go on. So I want to have the switch and I'll make sure it's in the full extended position. Um, I want that even with the board like that. So that's where it's going to get glued. And I just want to use just a very small drop and use thick super glue. Um, the reason we want to use thick is we don't want it to get on the inside of the switch anywhere. Uh, because if it does, or into the little spring, 
um, it's going to lock everything up and then you're going to need a new switch. And yes, we do sell the switches, uh, but we're not going to give them to you free. This is your warning. Don't get glue inside the switch. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a drop of glue right there. And I think my drop of glue is a little bit too big. So I'm going to spread it around a little bit and position my switch where it needs to go. And I'm kind of doing this upside down there, just like that. All right. And if everything is working right and then I'll put a little kicker on it. I call it kicker, but it's accelerator. That just locks it in place quick. So if I put everything down, I should be able to take a screwdriver and depress the switch. So test your switch. Make sure you haven't gotten glue in it because this is the time to replace your switch if you did. Make sure it's working right. And if it is, great. We'll move on to the next step. And the next step is to put the altimeter board onto the sled like this. And so you get your plywood parts again and you'll see these rings here and these are little washers. You only need four of them but we gave you eight just in case you lose some because they are so small you can easily roll off your table. And again push out the middles. Don't need the middles. Okay and then you want to put those on top of the board, on top of your holes. This is where it takes a steady hand. Like that. Take your altimeter and without moving things around, gently place it on top so you can still see the holes. And again, remember I got my USB port right here, so that's the way I want it oriented. And we're going to drop our screws through the holes. Ah, it shifted on me. I usually do them one at a time anyway. Okay, I got the first one started. And I don't go I don't go all the way down. I just go enough to keep it in so that I can shift the board around. I don't want the board so tight that I can't move it around. This one slid out, so I'll just slide it back under. Okay, now I can tighten them down. I'm going to leave it a little loose. Now I'll go ahead and tighten it down. I'll, I'll unloosen it in here in a minute. Unloosen. Is that a word? <laughs> I don't think it is. Okay. If you flip it over on the back side, um, you'll notice that the uh, screws don't come through all the way. If they do, just take a hobby knife and slice them off. Um, but I think you'll find that they're pretty good the way they are. Okay, so I got the switch on and the altimeter on. Um, next I'll do the battery and I'll do that in the next step.